cons a constructor. Uh, right Honorable Speaker, I want to thank you in particular because you approved a supplementary budget for purchase of equipment. When the President gave a directive in the 2021, 1st July, we did not have equipment, we did not have enough personnel. By then we were 2,000, uh, 2,226, but as I speak now, right, right Honorable Speaker, we are 4,026. Our target is to make sure that by 2026 we are 6,000. We want to be the biggest construction company in the country and we shall achieve it because we have the support of the entire government. Uh, right, Honorable Speaker, uh, since the directive we have carried out over 328 projects throughout the country, of which more than 200 are completed. And this one is one of them. So people should not be swayed away that we don't have capacity, we can't do this, we can't do that. There's no construction company in the country currently that have the personnel we have and the equipment. Out of the 4,026, we have over 118 civil engineers, and most of the work is civil related. We also have engineers, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, electronics and IT. So we have all the, tra all the grades. Uh, right when I was speaker, I want to thank the president. Because had it not been him to give that directive, even some of you didn't be knowing us, because we have been somewhere inside there. But now we are here in front of the media, and uh, we must prove a point. We must prove a point that we are here, and we are here to stay. We are going to work, uh, work together and make sure that the infrastructure development of the country is uh, rated highly, and is given a lot of emphasis and we can achieve it together since it is in-house, we shall achieve it. Uh, the project is progressing on very well, Madam Speaker. Uh, what we did because we did not have uh, a proper cash flow, engineering brigade, the consultant, the media, ladies and gentlemen. Right on the speaker, today is not my day. First, I want to begin by thanking you for taking off time to come and personally look at the, the renovation works which are taking place in this great house. And I would like to ask us to clap for our speaker to be here. <laughs> Madam Speaker, allow me to say the following words. First, I want to begin by thanking H.E. the President and the Minister of Education and Sports, Mama Janet Kataha Museveni, for coming up with a plan to renovate this national asset. I want to thank the President for continuously and my senior minister, putting all what it takes to support the sports subsector. Madam Speaker, as a minister responsible for sports, we are the client of the project. We are committed to ensuring that quality work and its completion is done in line with the design which we came up with as a client for this project. I want to thank you, in particular, and the entire parliament for the love you have for sports in this country. I want to re request for a clap in that line. <laughs> Most times, I am the one who stands on that floor. I know how you protect, beginning with me and the entire sports subsector. And I want to repeat these words. To the sportsmen and sportswomen of this country, if we do not get infrastructure in this town, then we will live to lose. Why? The speaker is an ardent supporter, not only football, but other sports as well. And I want us to request a clap for her. She has invested in sports infrastructure in as far as her personal school is concerned in Bukedia. And I know what she's doing there. To the project, Madam Speaker, can I specifically thank my PS? Madam PS, I know you've been quiet it's the first time or second time the media might come to see it, but does a lot of work as far as guiding the Minister of Education and Sports. This project, she has done all what it takes. I don't know how much I disturb her for purposes of Nambole. I want to thank you, P.S., for always being calm 
and minding your work as a permanent secretary. Please thank you for doing work to support this project. To Nambole management, Madam Speaker, I did tell you that I think I went beyond three quarters, a third, when I was appointing the board. You can see the ladies here, you see the gentlemen. Before you, I want to introduce you, the former chairperson of the board was Madam Abeja Ann. I have a, a seasoned sportsman who won medals for this country, in which what swimming, 